I got this piece off Amazon. It's just a standard Reese receiver. Um, metal appears to be blued a little bit, but otherwise it's untreated. I'm gonna prep this base that's designed for the crank winch to receive that. And then that'll, if I get it good and square, will allow me to slide my Reese receiver winch in here. I'm gonna dry fit it all here in a moment. And then just change up the end of the jib so that that cable can be taken in and out. Like I was saying, obviously things aren't welded into place, but that is All right, this is our end goal, is to have this general set up here. All right, so on the original Harbor Freight crane, the cable winch would come down over this pulley, through this hole, around this pulley inside, and then out the bottom. Obviously, there's some limitations with that, especially with the angles that I'm hoping to be able to use this at. So to fix that, I purchased this roller off Amazon. Um, I don't remember off the top of the head what the weight rating was, but I do remember having quite the time finding one it was the right size the white rate weight ratings so we're gonna get the steel ground down bare and then weld that on the end
terrible for an amateur with a flux core weld. That should hold quite nicely. All right, well, it's a nice snowy day today. So we're gonna spend most of our time inside and see if we can get this pickup bed crane conversion completed. Time to get this put together 100% with the winch on it. Well, this part should go pretty quick and easy. As long as I remember where the pins went. this over real quick now that it's all done so obviously the original boom the cable would have come over this piece here and then wound back down through the hole here around a roller that's on the inside and then out the bottom my concern was that if I wound up running the crane into a higher angle that I'd wind up chafing the wire so we welded this piece on here it's got a big roller that's gonna go in here I'll put that on in just a minute and then the cable should be able to come down, go over this, over that roller, and then it won't matter if we're lifting at 90 degrees or up at a higher angle. So I'm gonna get it onto the jib to hold it in place first. Obviously the base I have it mounted on isn't the most stable, but it works for the time being. Um, if the weather was a little nicer, I'd be going to town building the proper base. I have already started cutting some of the pieces for the, the next base to have mounted on the trailer. We'll get into that deeper in another video. All right, to have a guide for the cable, I bent this piece of strapping I had. We'll see how well it works. I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to like it because I think that I don't have anything to hold it from camming down. I think it might find on the cable. If I decide I don't like it, we'll take it off. It is nice and flexible though, which is nice. All right, there's a little bit more bending to be done. I'm not gonna hook this all the way through until I have the cable and the winch run down through. Let's put the winch on. I'll just put my arm right in the way. Debating whether or not I'm going to need this washer. So originally this washer was meant to go, let's see if I get this into view, right onto this part of the pin here. Now that I have this in place, I probably don't need it. I'm going to try it out, see if it makes it tight enough this doesn't turn. All right, it's all together. So we've got the winch on our Reese Hiss pitch mount up here. Uh, you'll notice some people probably look at that and go, oh my gosh, you welded that on backwards. Well, I did it deliberately because I wanted the lip on here to sit over this plate here. 
and I knew I had plenty of throw available in here to make that pinhole work as you can see in the video here. Um, the cable comes out through the end of the winch here, over my top roller and over my end roller. Should be fully functional. I'm gonna get it rigged up and try lifting and lowering something with it. Um, obviously, that's my base right now, so it's not the most stable. So we aren't gonna go too crazy, but we'll give it a shot. Well, I got my multimeter out because I had a moment of concern thinking I did something wrong. As you can see, I have plenty of voltage there now. Originally, I didn't. And like an idiot, when I took my booster pack up to these cables, which I have set up to hook to the battery in my dump trailer long term, not hooking alligator clip to alligator clip. That's just for trying this out today. Well, I should have been smart enough to realize that the cable comes in on one side of the alligator clips and goes to a contact on both of these. But like a fool, I hooked to the side that doesn't have the cable on it and therefore got no voltage because the side with the cable was up against an insulator. Now that we got that straightened out, that 12.6 volts, 12 point, almost 12.7 volts, and we're up and running. All right, we're 100% set up to do a functions test. Obviously, we're keeping in mind that it is not a very stable base, so we are not gonna pick up anything heavy. Our load today is going to be this old kitty litter bucket that has a few pieces of scrap wood in it. Goal is drop the cable, hook it on. We're gonna use the bottle jack to increase the height on the angle and then that'll kind of move everything in towards the base a little bit and then we'll winch it in with the cable Let's see how it works out Hook to our load all right we're off the ground run the angle up on the camera a little bit all right, we're hooked onto the kitty litter bucket. Let's see if we can pick it up. I mean, obviously we can, as long as we can. So we've got that well suspended. Now if we want to let it down. We want to bring it back in. Seems to work pretty well. We'll let that bucket back down on the ground. Curious long term to see how this guide interacts with the rollers here and as far as allowing the cable to feed back and forth across the winch. But overall, I'm very pleased with it. It's a pretty modular setup. So if I want to use this winch for something else on a different platform, pop this pin out, take the cable off, pull the pin out in the Reese receiver and hook that winch into whatever else I want. Um, one of my thoughts is, is at some point if I want to use this out in the woods or something, I can just put a clevis on the back of a uh, receiver like what I welded on here and hook it to a strap and be able to winch things around if I want. Um, I am still playing with the idea of 3D printing a cover for this solenoid here. Um, other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, you'll notice I painted everything black 
I, with all the welding I had to do, I knew I was going to be doing a lot of grinding paint off and I needed to make it a different color and there was no way I was going to match the gray that it came with and I wasn't real happy with their paint job. I had plenty of black paint. And my plan is for this to ride on a black trailer, so black it was. Uh, the other thing I want to do is the handle for the jack. Um, it's going to annoy me looking at the sides around like that. So I want to get a little bit better of a mount for that at some point. Uh, my next step is to finish building the base to put it on the trailer. And hopefully we'll have some nicer weather coming up to get outside and do that.